हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडिम्स बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड कीप द बेल रिंगिंग लेट स्टार्ट विद द प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडिम्स वॉट आर द प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडिम्स to solve any problem a programming language is an essential tool if a user wants to solve any real time problem any problem that you can solve it by the programming language so each problem can be solved in many ways for example if you want to design a calculator that you can design a calculator with different ways or with different programming languages so the solution to the problem can be written using different programming languages and the programming paradigm is all about writing style and organizing the programming code in specific way each programming language has a unique programming style that implements a specific programming paradigm and each programming paradigm advocates a set of principles and rules that the programming language must implement so overall i want to say that the programming paradigm is giving an idea about the writing style and the way of organization of a program or a code in a specific way for different programming languages for different different programming languages its style is different it is having a specific set of rules or a principle that the programmer has to follow the programming paradigm or the languages are of different types so the computer languages the first type is low level language second type is middle level language and the third type is high level language now let's see what these languages are so the low level language is nothing but a machine language middle level language is nothing but the assembly language and the high level language is nothing but which which is similar to the human language examples are binary language assembly language and the c c++ java or the different languages which you are known to these are the examples where i am showing you the way of representation of a machine language assembly language as well as the high language and this is again one another way where the hardware is available which is communicated through the machine level language then somehow at the upper level is assembly level language and these are nothing but the examples of high level languages now we'll see the hierarchy of a programming paradigms as we have seen just previously the low lowest level language is nothing but the machine level language the second one just uh, next to the machine language is assembly language and the next three are these three are nothing but the high level languages they are structured programming language procedure programming language and object oriented programming language for your reference or for or to remind the things whatever we have learned in the last slide the machine level language is nothing but the low level language assembly language is nothing but the middle level language and the structured programming language procedure programming language and the object oriented programming language goes under the high level programming language now let's start with the first language machine language so here you can see that this is nothing but the machine code now let's learn about the machine level language which is low level language so the machine level language is the language understood by the computer or the machine directly it is a low level programming language made out of the binary numbers or bits that can only be read by the machines because you know that the computer understand only the language of zeros and ones it is very difficult to understand but it is the only thing that the computer works with it is very difficult to understand by the human being 
we don't know the meaning of the sequence of ones and zeros represented here but unfortunately computer works with this language only so it is known as a machine code or object code in which instructions are executed directly by the cpu the central processing unit machine language is the elemental language of the computers the computer only understands the machine language now let's learn more about machine language machine language includes binary digits as i explained previously or the hexadecimal or the octal digits or the numbers which can be comprehended only by the computers and cannot be deciphered by the humans for humans these these number systems are somehow difficult to understand it is read by the computer central processing unit that is cpu the machine language is composed of digits binary numbers looks like a very long sequence of zeros and ones as we have seen in a previous slide if a program is written in middle level or high level programming languages then that all the eventually generate the machine level or code level code machine code which is then readable by the cpu or the central processing unit that is if a programmer is writing a program in either middle level or high level language then eventually that program is get converted by the compiler in a machine level code or a machine level language which is i am trying to explain like this so if the program is written is middle or high level language then the compatible compiler helps to convert that into the machine level code which is understood by the central processing unit or by the computer now let's move forward for the second language which is nothing but the assembly language assembly language goes under middle level language so now let's see what the assembly language is a processor understand only the machine language that we have seen in a previous slide or a previous type of uh, programming language which is nothing but the zeros and ones however the machine language is too obscure and complex for using the software development as it's not understood by the programmer very easily so to make it easy the next language which is came in picture is nothing but the assembly language so the low level assembly language is designed for a specific family of of processors that represents various instructions in symbolic code and more understandable form and hence an assembly language is a type of low level programming language that is intended to communicate directly with the computer's hardware but with the help of user understandable instructions let's see more about the assembly language which is middle level language an assembly language statement is a line or a text that translates into a single machine instruction that assembly language is expressed in more human readable form than that of the machine language the assembly language instructions and the names are allowed for memory location register and the operation so in other language we can say that this assembly language allows programmer to directly work at the memory locations to perform what or to uh, why we can directly access the memory locations to perform different operations on which we can perform this different operation we can perform the different operations on the data where it is stored it is stored in different registers these are different concepts with respect to assembly language when you learn assembly language in detail you will come to know how to access the memory location what different operations we can perform and how to store the data in different registers how many registers are there what is the size and all all these things you will come to know when you will go thoroughly with the assembly language now let's see the usage as we have seen that the assembly language is also considered as a low level language which is compared to the uh, what we can say the machine language level language which is where the assembly language is somehow more advanced than that of the machine the hence the assembly language is still used assembly language is used 
to directly manipulate the hardware as it works directly with the central processing unit access the specialized processors instructions or evaluate the critical performance issues mainly this language is used to leverage their speed advantage over the high level language for time sensitive activities such as high frequency trading here i would like to say that as this language directly works with the uh, with the computer hardware the time required for the performing any particular task is very less now let's see the advantages it requires mem less memory as well as execution time as i explained previously it directly works with the hardware execution time is very low it allows hardware specific complex job in an easier way or we can say that the assembly language is famous for the hardware specific to uh, is very famous to solve the issues hardware specific issues specifically it is suitable for time critical jobs as well it is more suitable for writing interrupt services or they are used while writing the different memory assistant programs now let's see more advantages having an understanding of assembly language makes the programmer aware of how program interfaces with os processor and bias how data is represented in memory and other external devices how the processor accesses and executes the instruction how instruction access the processed data and how a program access external devices as well these things you will not be able to understand if you will directly work with the high level languages but if you will start with the assembly level language you will come to know these many things and they are very important when you are going to start with the programming now let's start with the next level that is high level programming languages in which the first one is structured programming language it is high level programming language a structured programming approach as the word suggest structured it is defined as a programming approach in which the program is made as a single structure as it is a structured programming language what does it mean it means that the code will execute the instruction by instruction one after the other the structured program consists of well structured and separated modules but different modules though there are different modules they are exit and entry restricted that is we can the program uses single entry and single exit elements what do you mean by this so you will understand these things when you will start learning these languages let's learn more about the structured programming language these are the elements of structured programming language they are selection statement sequence statement and the iteration statements these are the examples of a structured programming language they are c very well known example of programming language cobol programming language and pascal programming language nowadays these two languages are not that much used but the c language still the use of the c language is there so let's focus on a c language in short c is a structured programming language and a programming c language can be divided into small logical functional modules or a structures with the help of function procedures function or procedures if you are knowing about more about c language then you will understand this thing very easily that the c program is usually divided into different functions or a procedure it starts with the main function itself now let's see the advantages of structured programming language so the structured programming approach provides you easier to read and understand program it is the user friendly language it is very easy to maintain mainly the problem based instead of being machine based we are focusing on a problem not on the machine code development is easier as it requires less effort and time as 
in comparison with the assembly or in the machine level language it is very easy to debug as well the previous two are not that much easy they are usually machine independent then it encourages top down implementation or a top down approach which improves both readability and maintainability of the code now let's see disadvantages few are the disadvantages also since it is a machine independent as we have seen in a previous slide so it takes time to convert into the machine code right as the high level language this is this is not understood by the computer hence it is converted into the machine code and it requires more time for the conversion and then the machine starts the cpu starts for the performing the re required task the converted machine code is not same as of the assembly language it is a machine language the program depends upon the changeable factors like data types therefore it needs to be updated with the need on the go as far as the requirements are concerned they are changing every time usually the development in this approach takes longer time as it is language dependent whereas in the case of assembly language the development takes lesser time as it is fixed for the machine as it is machine independent or it is a language independent also so the development in this approach takes a longer time or it is a time consuming language now let's move forward for the next language goes under high level language which is procedure programming language so let's learn some things about the procedure programming language a procedure programming language is a type of computer language that specifies a series of well structured steps and procedures within its programming context to compose a program so program is composed with the different steps as well as the procedure as the name suggests it is a procedure programming language now this paradigm or this a programming language contains a systematic order of statements functions and commands to complete a computational task or a program a procedural language as the name implies relies on predefined and well organized procedures or a functions or it is also called as a subroutine in programs architecture by specifying all the steps that the computer must take to reach a desired state or a output whenever you want to define design a program for any particular problem which for which the desired state or output is defined for this this procedural language helps you to write a program in well organized procedures functions or subroutines which gives the de desired output now let's learn more about the procedural programming language the procedural language segregates a program within variables functions statements and conditional operators procedures or functions are implemented on a data and variables to perform a particular task these procedures can be called or invoked anywhere between the program hierarchy and by other procedures as well now if you can if you know any of the high level language then you can correlate these statements while writing a program and a program is writ program return in procedural language contains one or more procedures so for example if you want to write a program for addition of two numbers first of all you have to write down a main function and from main you have to invoke uh, we have used a word over here we, we have to call or invoke the addition function from the main function and then it will perform a task so it contains one or more procedures in this program now let's see the usage the procedural programming language are utilized by content and programming developers to solve any problem then creating creating a program by using a procedural language may implement by employing a programming manager android studio 
or a similar to an eclipse now these are the uh, we can say different uh, ways in which we can implement a program now let's see the advantages of procedural programming language this language clarifies the source code and can be understood easily as it is a high level language which is understood by the human beings very easily without the need of copying this this the code may reuse in various piece of a code in the form of procedures if more than one time we want to perform any particular task and which is written in a procedure i can call or invoke that procedure at many times that i want to reuse that code or that task for various purposes the procedural programming language utilizes different parts of a memory and it makes easy to track as it flows the program in a linear direction that is from top to bottom are there any disadvantage of a procedural programming language yes they are they are when a procedural language are employed its program is harder to write it also a real world problem this language is not very practical to use when the real world problems we want to implement and it's not secured because the information is available to the whole code it can form a complex program as it has the potential to solve a real world problem obviously if real world problem we have to solve the program that we are going to implement that could be somehow the complex program the information which is vulnerable in these and is not practicable with a true issue to solve these problems or to these all these disadvantages are overcome with the next programming language is nothing but the object oriented programming language which is again the high level language so the object oriented programming language is a type of structured programming language view that views the program components as an object so there is a focus on object as the name itself suggests object oriented programming language in object oriented programming all program components are represented as an object as i explained previously that object binds the data and associated methods that is procedures functions together as a single unit we can utilize that a single unit of an object and associated its methods to perform any particular task it access access specifies helps to control the access permission of data it is more secured language than that of the procedure programming language as we can see these are the building blocks of object oriented programming language they are object class abstraction encapsulation inheritance and the polymorphism the more detailed explanation of these building blocks you may know or if you don't know i'll explain all these things in my next video now let's see there are many different types of object oriented programming languages that use slightly different syntaxes but share the same general concept of a programming that is object oriented programming the well known example is c++ then it's java and the python as well as the kotlin the kotlin language is used for the development of android programs now let's focus somehow on cpp or c++ as object oriented programming which is high level language program so c++ is both procedural as well as object oriented programming language as it is also having the number of procedures it is a procedural language as well this cpp supports object oriented features or the building blocks that we have seen in a previous slide they are polymorphism encapsulation inheritance and many more there are many more features of object oriented programming that all are supported by c++ and hence the c++ or the object oriented programming there are multiple usages to implement a real time system of cpp or the object oriented programming is used where the system can respond to events within predictable and specific time constraint 
if i want to de develop the client server system then also oop is useful a system where the clients initiates request for services and the servers provides that functionality and a object oriented database in this database it maintains a direct correspondence between the real world and the database objects instead of that or these application simulation and modeling system or office automation system or the computer aided design for example matlab they are also implemented with the object oriented programming the matlab is used by the programmers to solve different difficult mathematical models and these models are then used in a bigger system designs so all the all the around we can say that this object oriented programming helps to solve many more problems and which provides us a solution now let's see the advantages of object oriented programming oop aims to increase code reusability by creating different classes for different types of information and hence this allows developers to easily add features when they need them without having to change the existing code hence the reusability is most important advantage of object oriented programming the object oriented programming protects the data from advert advertent operations by the other methods hence it is very robust and a secure feature that which is not available with the procedural programming language and the object oriented programming is the best way to create complex computer programs and these are usually large programs that solve the complicated problems thank you friends for listening and watching this video i hope you have understood the programming paradigms in detail if you like the content and the video please like the video subscribe my channel tiktoks and share it with your friends thank you